Hi Geminis, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for the end of January 2019. Thank you so much for your patience and your support Geminis. Um, I'm hoping to be back into the swing of things by February but I do thank you guys for coming out strong per use, right? Who am I talking to, right? So thank you guys so much for your continued support. Um, don't forget to check out the description box below. There you can learn how to put personal readings with me, my Instagram, SoundCloud, and any old information that you like as far as the decks I use and the crystals I use and all that information that you will find in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe guys and leave a comment. Again, these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, so be mindful of that, but feel free to dibble and dabble in YouTube. I'm sure that you'll find a reader more suited for your needs, all right? So without any further ado, let's get into it, okay, Gemini's? Boom, and so beautifully, there is your energy. So right off the rip. Good stuff. Gemini's for the end of January 2019, please. Oops. All right, Gemini, so we have the Five of Pinnacles. And intuitively, I feel like you guys are kind of going through some disillusionment, some confusion, um, balance, okay? You're seeking balance. You're seeking balance in your life, in your relationships, in your home, you know. Any scores that you feel were, any stone, you're not, What's the saying? Like, no, not leaving stones unturned. Whatever that saying is supposed to be, that's what you're doing. <laughs> that's the energy moving into 2019 in this last chapter of um, January. It's just like you're not leaving a stone unturned. You're making sure to seek, pay those debts. Make sure that if you're owed, you're articulating that in 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 a way. But there is certainly seeking <coughs> balance for this year. Um. And I feel like it kind of came out of nowhere for some of you guys where you just started caring about shit that you didn't necessarily care for before, but you really care now, okay? Excuse me. And because of this, I feel like there's a feeling of isolation here with this Five of Pentacles, okay? So some of you guys feel like you're being left out in the cold, but the thing about it is, especially if you're seeking balance and you feel like you're in a state of unrest where you don't know which way is up, down, or whatever, these people are in front of a church house, okay? So this is charity, compassion, coming into something very freely and openly and, and, and asking for help and receiving that advice. So don't feel that you're alone, Gemini. Um, understand that there are people who you can talk to to help you sort through this messiness of kind of your emotions and, and what have you. Um, so just be patient with the process, Gemini. But I do understand that you are certainly seeking balance and you are certainly feeling like you are alone and kind of going up like this uphill battle. Um, it gets better. It'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And... One last shuffle. Alright. Alright, so the underlying energy we have is the Queen of Pentacles. And it's not, you know, it, it's... It, it doesn't go without saying that the Six of Pentacles followed it. So this is always my card of self-care. This is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. But most importantly, it's nurturing and it's self-nurturing. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is the embodiment of a mother. She is like that one who's going to make sure that her kids are eating, to make sure that her kids are she'll sew the clothes that they wear you know like she's very hands-on and i feel like you're taking on this energy for yourself you're focusing on yourself like i said you're seeking balance um and it can be in a material sense so some of you guys can be really focused on your home um practical status i think matters to you guys but status and impressing people isn't necessarily the forefront it's just like you don't want to let people down if that makes sense but you do understand that there are decisions that you have to make that might leave people kind of lost in a sense but it seems like you're focusing on what is it that you have to do for you what does gemini have to do for gemini fair okay so we have the king of cups here and this was the same um <laughs> this is the same card that came up in the Pisces bonus just now. So it could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio, right? But emotions, okay? The Ten of Wands, okay? As the past energy. 
the ace of wands okay interesting closing out a cycle and beginning another one as the present energy and then we have the moon card as the most likely outcome a lot of emotions ha huh. and the two of pentacles so i love when the cards back me up when i'm just speaking on my ass i love when they got my back okay so <coughs> Emotionally, the end of January for you might be kind of all over the place. I feel like you're going to be holding a lot in. Be sure to communicate to people that you know and trust, Gemini. There's no reason to do this alone, okay? So, we went over the King, Queen of Pentacles, which is the underlying energy. So, there's a need inside for self-care, love, nurturing yourself, positive affirmation positive affirmations okay understanding that you will come out victorious on the other end there's no need to worry about that everything happens for a reason take every failure as a lesson you know any poster with a cat on it right from the lego movie any poster with a cat on it that's what you're doing right now just remember that that's it's real you know you got to believe in yourself in order to get anything done so interestingly enough we have the king of, of of cups as the heart of this reading which is uncomfortable for gemini's right it's an air sign this is a water sign trait so you're dealing with emotions and particularly you're dealing with emotions and how they appear to other people so it seems like inside you're working through some things but you're looking like a foreign to other people people just like wow you seem to be in like a different space maybe you're finding yourself in la la land maybe you're daydreaming a lot more um you're really trying to have fun in your imagination to see what you can do and see where you can push yourself in your limits and, and you're down for that cause okay so then we have the three of i'm at sorry the three i don't know where i got three from possibly expansion growth for some of you guys children um that's kind of what i heard but the ten of wands so this is burden this is carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders but this is the past energy and the ace of wands so it seems like a lot of you guys are releasing these wands as you move forward which as you should this is great it's a new year lay your burdens down at the door you left all that shit in 2018 okay so beautifully in 2019 we're moving to the ten of wands you're, you got to seek advice, got to seek account, you know, advice, um, counsel. This can be a card of biting off way more than you could chew, and now it's too much, okay? So I sense that there's a, a level of this is too much, right? No worries. You're going to be presented with some new, fresh opportunities, okay? Just make sure that it doesn't become um something that becomes burdensome so you have to be mindful of how you're spending your time Gem gemini wisely and make sure that this isn't something that is going to take an emotional toll on you this is something that you can this opportunity that presents itself is something that you can have fun with and doing and it nurtures your soul and nurtures your spirit and you have fun in doing so okay so interesting enough gemini we have the moon coming up as the most likely outcome so this is cancerian energy and piscean energy again so emotion subconscious which you don't think about this is not fun territory for you gemini i can't stress that enough it's not it's uncomfortable okay for some of you guys depending on where you're obviously depending on where your moon sign is but you know you're dealing with those those hidden thoughts those hidden demons those secrets and like i said there's a need for for balance and counsel and you know it goes without saying when you're carrying this much weight oops sorry when you're carrying this much weight um and then all of a sudden you release that burden what do you do with yourself you've been carrying this around it seems like you're kind of lost because you're there's a freedom and you don't know how to express or articulate it you're like i feel so light i don't understand why i feel this way you know i'm kind of getting that energy too because what are you supposed to do with all this free time now now that you're not you know biting your fingernails <laughs> spend it taking baths you know showing yourself love okay let's see why is the moon here please two and ooh. Two sixes, the six of cups and the six of swords. So, departure, leaving. You're leaving something behind, something from your past. Something that you've left behind in your past. Yeah, something that burdened you in the past is, is resurfacing, okay? So, you're going to have to 
get real in tune with yourself listen to that subconscious listen to that inner voice as to how you are going to deal with it it's going to be on an emotional front um but something is going to rear its head but after you deal with this you will have a new opportunity that comes in for you um and the advice again is the two of pinnacles so seeking balance so when you have this person return or you have this feeling return or this experience this memory oh my gosh i'm so sorry i'm like all in the camera Ah, trying to get this card okay sorry <laughs> balance you're seeking balance what does balance mean to Gemini ask yourself that question because that's very very important um, especially dealing with the six energy here so it and one's returning right so this is nostalgia with the six of cups here so this is nostalgia happiness you know children and then we have the six of wands which is leaving something behind so either you're leaving behind this feeling of a lot of you guys are just maturing in a way um you're leaving some of your you know what it is gemini it's peter pan and neverland and shout out to my friend eric uh -huh. we actually spoiler alert we have a show coming for you guys but anyways um he told me peter pan is a gemini and i feel like you guys are going to be confronted with neverland so be be aware Peter Pan okay you you have to grow up sometimes so some of you guys are, this is growing up look at these queens and these kings here look at this evolution look top of the food chain my guy okay you're not you're growing up a lot of you guys have been chasing Neverland okay you realize that it's, it would just be easier to just grow up and have a new opportunity present itself as an adult all right but you feel unbalanced by that okay nothing wrong with that Gemini nothing wrong with it okay so with that being said we're going to get into your oracle readings okay um just hang in there gemini again nothing is like overnight nothing fixes itself overnight growing up is hard to do <laughs> reality is hard to face <laughs> it's not fun so there's no need to rush your process but just you know the underlying energy being, you know, the queen of pentacles, again, slow and steady wins the race. Just keep your, keep your nose to the grindstone, your eyes to the prize. Remember to love yourself and you'll come out okay, right? Three, two, and one. Alright, let's see. So we have a flyer. So this is, ah, a win-win outcome is forecast, Gemini. So... Through this evolution, you're going to come out on the other side. You might feel topsy-turvy, but once you find that balance that you that you need to seek with this Two of Pentacles being the card of advice, once you finally have your foot set down, you're going to feel really, really relieved. You're really going to like this opportunity that comes and presents itself possibly at the end of this month. You, I mean, it's really going to make you feel a lot lighter, Gemini. And then look, we have your hard work is paying off here at the, at the bottom of the deck. So, and, and that's Saturn Capricorn. Okay, so there goes that queen of pentacles energy all right your hard work is paying off <coughs> you get it you're evolving you're learning you've done that burden you're you're releasing this burden you're letting new opportunities in now because you got all that you can from this and you're going to start reaping the benefits of it you just have to hang in there um you just have to hang in there emotionally just because it you know subconscious can be foreign territory for you guys nothing wrong with that but you're going to start seeing how spirit works and how universe works and how guidance, work, guidance works and you're going to be front row, okay? So we have at the top, nothing will come of this situation. This could also probably go towards um, the Ten of Wands. This is an odd... This is an odd thing to pop out, so I feel like this is really specific, probably for a person, um, if they were looking for this for a very clear sign. <laughs> Um, of like, should I stay or should I go? I have a feeling it has to do with a relationship of some sort. Um, nothing will come of a situation. So if something has become too burdensome and you're putting all that you can in it and you're getting shekels back, then fucking let it go. Right? And, and you know, that might not be so specific with the two sixes that we have here, the six of swords. So some people are recognizing that, you know, people, childhood, child, child, something linked to, to childhood nostalgia is no longer serving all right um and so you're gonna have to leave some things behind and once you do that again a win-win outcome is forecast and universe is on your side as far as seeing that they got you boo all right 
And then we have confidence is your key to success. And wow, communication is key, which is your energy here, um, Gemini. So these oracles are, are great. So it seems like confidence, plow through this, plow through this 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 transition that you're in plow through that subconscious that you're battling just just plow through it with the with the might of a lion okay because you have it and if you do need to speak to somebody it goes back to that five of pentacles that we were speaking about earlier if you do need to speak about to somebody communication is key open up set your boundaries again a lot of you guys are craving stability you got to articulate what that stability is to people that you feel are taking from or um adding to it so you guys are on the same page and that's your card communication mercury that is right up your alley you should have no problem articulating um your needs gemini so <laughs> absolutely beautiful oracles so i got one more <gasps> yo courage I like this. I like this. I like this. Courage to go into those depths. Courage to step outside of yourself. Courage to ask for help. All right. Courage to get out of a shitty situation. Right. There is a need for look at all this red with this fire. There's a need for action. Okay. And it's for your well-being, for your self-worth. <coughs> and then we had um, planetary cycles try to come out and sneak out too. So I'm gonna take it because this is just a part of your evolution. All right. Pay close attention to your horoscopes especially if you feel like your emotions are out of whack you know sometimes your neptune can be eclipsing you know i don't know your fifth house i don't fucking know but all of that being said you know be aware of what's happening um as above so below so you can be in the mix so you're not caught off by any surprise emotions okay because it seems like this part of the transition this part of your journey is a part of a cycle of evolution okay and the planets are heavily involved in that rotation gemini so just as above so below never forget that okay anyways um thank you guys so much gemini i appreciate your support thank you guys for hanging in there your patience i'm really hoping to be back in my schedule come february as far as getting those readings out but this is just something that i want to give to you guys obviously you're like one of my top videos for the yearly so i just want to say thank you so much guys um don't forget to like share and subscribe please drop a comment and do not forget to check out that description box to book a personal reading with me all right peace gemini's until next time